Hello, this is Dory. Today I'm going to show you how to do a basic flat square knot hemp bracelet. As you can see, I have cut my cords and how I've measured them is the working cords are measured to be six times the length of what I want my bracelet to be. This may seem excessive, but these cords are going to be tied up a lot and they're going to get short really quickly. The carrier cords in the middle can be shorter because you're not tying them up. You can make your carrier cords just a few inches longer than what you want your bracelet to be. Um, keep the, in mind you want to include enough hemp for your ties at the end, not just the knotted part. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to tie my overhand knot to make my loop clasp that the plain ends cords are going to tie around. So first I am wrapping the cord around my two fingers And I'm bringing it around in that X-like pattern. Now I'm going to pull it through my hole. If you find that a few pieces are loose, you can pull each cord one by one. Okay, and there we have it. The next thing that we'll do is we'll get started on our square knots. Okay, so now we're going to get started on our square knot. I'm going to separate my working cords from my carrier cords in the middle and as you can see I have four cords um, for the loop clasp I've just taken two extra long cords and folded them over together to make four so I'm gonna start on my left side with my left working cord and I'm bringing it underneath my two middle carrier cords and it's laying over top of my right working cord. I'm taking my right working cord and I'm bringing it through this hole that I've made on the left side. Now I want to alternate what I just did because if you keep doing the same thing on the same side you're going to get more of a spiral effect and it won't be flat. 
So I'm going to take my working cord on the right side. I'm bringing it underneath my two carrier cords and I'm laying it over top of my left working cord. I'm taking my left working cord, bringing it through the hole that I've made on the right side. And I'm bringing it up. That completes my square knot. Now what I'll do is I'm going to keep tying square knots until I reach my desired length. So after I get done doing that, I'll be back and we'll finish off the end of the bracelet. Okay, so now I'm going to finish it off with an overhand knot. I'm going to bring it around my fingers. And through. You can pull each strand separately if you have any that are loose. Okay, and it's finished, aside from that now I'm just going to trim the loose ends to their desired length. You'll want at least a couple inches so that you can um, adjust and tie it around your wrist. You can take a little bit of either glue or clear nail polish and dab it on the ends so that your hemp won't unravel or become frayed. But that's pretty much it. Our um, plain flat square knot hemp bracelet. Thank you very much for tuning in with me and you can subscribe to my channel if you like for more tips on how to make hemp macrame jewelry and tie hemp macrame knots. My channel is called How to Make Hemp Necklaces. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.